welcome to the Elder Scrolls Online Blackwood. This is the fifth expansion of ESO and the first expansion I have ever played, surprisingly, in this long-running and legendary MMO. And I've been playing on and off since beta, before, you know, the game got a major overhaul, almost Final Fantasy XIV style. In this Exploring ESO series, I'm going to dive into all the already out expansions of the Elder Scrolls Online world, and I'll also be diving into some of the base game areas and other things you guys should look out for and have fun with, and if you want to join me, you can do that as well. The ESO is available on the PS4, Xbox, Stadia, PC, and Mac, and I played it on PC via Steam if you would like to join me at any time. I'm a solo player, so if you guys want to hang out and do some PvP, I don't really do the PvP stuff, but I'm down for some PvE, collecting, trading, and all kinds of stuff like that. Now, playing through this beautiful, glorious expansion took me about 40 hours to get through the main quests, and then I got stuck. And then I had to go find the companions, which are brand new to this expansion. I had to power level them with some side quests, and then they were able to help me finish with the uh, main quest. There's two companions, but we'll get into that later. As I said, I'm also a solo player, so of course things took way longer than it would if you could do it in groups and this here is the gate of Obl gates of oblivion there's more than one gate and at the time i'm writing and recording this there's only three of the four goodies have dropped that being the flames of ambition dlc the blackwood chapter which is what i played and the waking flame dlc which i have yet to play but i will eventually and there's a final piece of uh, dlc or content that we don't know the name of right right now as I'm recording this, it is going to drop in the fourth quarter. Now you may be asking, Hugger, what is Blackwood? Blackwood is an area from my knowledge first seen in the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion, which was the first one I played. Blackwood is also a great swamp that borders on the Khaji elsewhere. Did I say that wrong? I can never remember how to say it to the west and the Argonian Black Marsh to the east. ESO Blackwood is the latest expansion and the, one of the coolest areas that players can dive into right now. I, Coolest in my opinion, I quite enjoyed it. Blackwood, this expansion is also set 800 years before what happened in The Elder Scrolls 4. The ESO games are very interesting, kind of like a Red Dead Online or a GTA 5 where it happens, sometimes it happens before, sometimes it happens after. It's very interesting and I quite enjoy that it's in an area that we know if you've played Oblivion, but also with enough new things that if you have never played Oblivion, you're not completely confused. Now, what was my experience with Blackwood? Uh, it was a good one. Let me just say that. Blackwood is an interesting place to wander through. I don't super remember the area from Oblivion because I'll be honest, probably didn't spend a lot of time there. And it's been years since I've sat down and played vanilla Oblivion, to be honest. It's a water-based area of the MMO, and it bends, blends perfectly with Shadowfen next to it. And Shadowfen is the northwest region of the Black Marsh of the Ebony Heart, Ebon Heart Pack, so it all blends together. It all seamless. It looks so good. The main island you'll be exploring is surrounded by lakes and rivers and swamp areas, and you'll also be going to a lot of familiar places if you've played Oblivion, like Leowind and Gideon. And like the areas you explore in this game, there's so much things to do in Blackwood, from Radiant Quest, which you guys know what Radiant Quests are, they're always continuing occurring quests, like the daily stuff, to there's world bosses, and there's just a bit of everything in between. The only things I have yet to complete at this time are the scurrying and excavating all the objects that can be found, which, you know, is going to take a bit of time and making my way through the entire Deadlands portals that open up when you're, you know, roaming around. I'm not, I'm just not strong enough for those yet, even with my, you know, upgraded character. I also have yet to try the uh, new trial, the Rock Grove trial, because that's a 12 person trial and I, I don't play with 12 people. And my guild, I think I might have to get a new guild, I'll be honest, guys, because I don't think there's ever, it's an older guild, but not a super active guild anymore. So I'm probably gonna have to go to a new guild and try the new trial. But thank you to the awesome ESO community that was friendly enough to help me with the world bosses. There was always somebody down. As long as you ping the world boss was up, somebody would show up and help you out. So thank you to the awesome ESO community. You guys have been nothing but like amazing in my journey back into the Elder Scrolls Online. 
The main story of this Blackwood chapter follows the discovery of a betrayal in the Longhouse of Emperors, and you get to help the ambitions out and discovering who they are and what they are. The story from the expansions, you know, they all kind of weave together because let's be honest, it's always some Daedric prince up to something. Towards the end of the story, you get to fight an ambassador for the big bad Mayorun Stegan himself while he's causing mayhem in the background, which is actually a really cool set piece and a nice battle. It leaves on a bit of a continued ending, which most of the, let's be honest, most of the expansions do, so they can loop into e each other, because you only find three of the ambi four ambitions you need and only two survive. A little bit of a spoiler there. But there's tons of exploring, there's fighting, there's story gathering, there's so much to do across the land with your new companions. Let's, let me just talk about how much I kind of love these companions and this new companion system. So, you guys know me. I I just can't help myself, so I got both of the companions, even though one can follow you at a time. It is what it is. I like to switch them out every so often, although I do have a favorite in Miri. I love her so much. It's a new feature that I can't I really can't wait till it's further explored because this is gonna be such a cool feature. There's quite a few things that if you are a solo player, you might struggle to do, and with a companion, it makes it not easier because they don't have the greatest health until you really put some time in with them. But they can help you out when you need it. I would also like some companions that, as much as I love Miri and Bastion, uh, more like neutral companions or Dark Brotherhood companions or Dark Brotherhood-like. Miri and Bastion are more quote-unquote good player leaning. I wouldn't really say like good. They're neutral, but more good player because they don't like Dark Brotherhood activities and you'll lose respect if you do stealth kills, if you pick up butterflies, if you do murder stuff. And that may not be a problem for most. However, if you are forking over the cash to play Blackwood, then you more than likely have like the Dark Brotherhood DLC or crime related DLCs or something else that they may not like. The companions can also be missed too, which is something I did not know. You have to go and explore the world, which you should be exploring anyway, but you really do have to go out and explore the world, otherwise you miss them. And if you're like me, I just dove straight into the main storyline before I did the side quest and I got stuck and I had to go get them because they, they certainly helped me out. They help with fighting and they can get you out of so many tight jams. They're definitely better than some AI companions in games and I dare say even better than some companions you get in the main Elder Scrolls games. I'm looking at you, Lydia. I lost you once and then I had to backtrack and then I had to reload a save for, and lost two hours of game. Me and Lydia still on site. That's exactly what it is with Lydia. On site next time I see her. And like most expansions or all the expansions I should say in Elder Scrolls and probably like most games, it doesn't matter what level you are either. Although there, you're gonna come to a point where you're gonna need help from either just doing the side quest to power level or grabbing your companions, you are you don't need to be, what am I, a level like 200 or something, but I started with this DLC with as a level 35, no companion, no champion points, just level 35. So you can, you can do this no matter what your level is. It was fun coming across the little adoring fan in this as you wander around Blackwood. He tells you all about his travels, he's waiting for you to rescue him. Spoiler, because you can totally miss it if you don't interact with him. In the end, he does end up dying, but you get to talk to his ghost and you get an achievement for that, and he kind of reflects that, yeah, I've been a bit of a knobhead, and I probably shouldn't have done that stuff, but I lived my life more than I would have if I hadn't done it. And I'm like, you know what? You're dead, but I, I, I like that for you. I'm glad you're having fun in the afterlife. Overall, Blackwood is the perfect reintroduction into the Elder Scrolls Online for me. Like I said, I've been playing on and off since beta, and I never had that hook to come back in. Like a like a strong hook. I, I play every single day. But watching this at E3, and watching them announce this, I'm like, no, I gotta go back. So thank you Bethesda and Zenimax for sending uh, me a code. You guys are awesome, and I'm so glad now that I can go back and just play all the Elder Scrolls and I'll be doing it here in this exploring Elder Scrolls series so if you guys want to join me you totally can. 
this has a great storyline, there's tons to explore, and there are plenty of reasons to keep coming back. I can't wait to see what the rest of the year and next year is going to bring, and those future expansions are going to be so good, because we only have Western Skyrim right now, which is Solitude. I can't wait till we get more of Skyrim. Like This is going to be so much fun. I can't wait to dive more into this. We're drawn to the end of this, and you guys like to know, I'm, I'm trying to put a little funky fresh stuff twists on here so if you have uh, made it this far why don't you leave in the comments a comment like the adoring fan the, his I, most iconic one so if you know what his most iconic line is and maybe it's flashed on the screen maybe I forgot to put it in who knows but you could leave it in the comment section and make sure to like and you know all that stuff but you guys are awesome so let's get into this I've talked about this expansion ESO so for so long now I hope I've convinced you guys to give it a shot I think most of us if you guys have watched this far have played most or maybe all the Elder Scrolls games or at least the modern ones because Daggerfall and they're a little rough they're lovable but rough and we thought I want to explore all those worlds in one game ESO is your answer for that. It's a great tie over if you've already played the Elder Scrolls games, but you want a new way to explore some of those areas. A new w way to explore some of those areas that's constantly being updated, and the community is just. I've never had a bad experience with the community. That's another great thing here. You can go to so many familiar locations Skyrim, Morrowind, Oblivion, so much, so much stuff to do. There's new. Uh, mounts, pets, outfits, there's other goodies that are available in crown stores if you guys want to do that. Going to the crown store is not a, a pay to win, it is a, hey, this is something fancy and I want a fancy horse. There's also, you know, if you get the collector's edition upgrade, there's a lot of stuff in there too. Like, uh, I got the battle Battlefield Nightmare mount and the Jeweled Feather Sep Adder, which is a snake. There's also a dead kind of gladiator outfit styles and a whole bunch of things and if you're interested in diving into it right now there is a free prologue quest for Blackwood available right now it gives the players a taste of what's happening this year seriously I hope I convinced you guys to at least give ESO a shot if you love the Elder Scrolls and MMOs you won't be disappointed at least I hope you won't be disappointed if you guys want me to look at any other MMOs or any other games, retrospectives, reviews, let me know in the comments section below. I'm open to anything. Almost anything. Don't leave no spooky, spooky horror games. But I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, can't wait to see where we go next. Bye, guys.